The U.S. Center for Disease Control is temporarily halting evictions for eligible renters through the end of this year. That decision is getting mixed reaction in Maine from both tenants and landlords. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty joins us now to explain. Ros? Pat, while some tenants say they are relieved for the time being, the rent still needs to get paid and it has one landlord concerned about the future. Repairs and, and upkeep, which all cost money, replacing of a hot water heater. Landlord Dwayne LaHaye is concerned about his properties. After the U.S. Centers for Disease Control temporarily halted evictions for eligible renters through December 31st. I still have to continue to supply services. The temporary halt is intended to protect renters who were unable to pay rent due to a COVID-19 related job loss. To qualify for the program, renters have to go through a process, including certifying they earn less than $99,000 per year or $198,000 per year for joint filers and proving they have made an effort to get available government assistance to cover the rent. At this point, I'm down about $6,000 since March. The director of the Maine Affordable Housing Coalition says while rent eventually needs to be paid, the temporary halt is a relief for tenants. In the middle of a pandemic, now that you know uh, one way or another, you're not going to be put out on the street and forced to double and triple up with other people. That's got to be an enormous relief. Tenant Amanda Wentworth agrees. I think it's it's good. I think it helps ease a little bit of the unknown amongst people and myself. But she says she understands landlords concerns. If they have tenants that can't pay their rent because of what's going on, how do they pay their mortgage or pay like what happens to that? It's a question LaHaye is trying to answer. Probably have to think about borrowing money to pay my taxes. Now the CDC says each adult tenant on the lease must also provide a statement. That form can be found in the Federal Register. Live in Portland, Roslyn Flaherty, News Center, Maine.